Oh, I'm good. I feel re real energized right now. Uh, it's been a long campaign, uh, especially having a primary. Uh, but for the last eight months, we've been out here every day working hard, and uh, I've got a lot of energy to finish the race. Let me ask yeah. you. Oh, go ahead. Oh, the people have been real nice to me. Uh, we've we've had a. It hasn't been a very contentious type of a, a race. We're both friendly to each other. Uh, we're sending our message, and uh, I just think that maybe my message resonates a little bit better in the city. Let me ask you. If you have three top priorities, let's say you get elected, what are the three things? You mentioned taxes just then. I'm wondering yeah. if that's one of them, but yeah. two things for you? Sure, keeping a stable budget, making sure that we can continue with what Alan has done on that, uh, with my imprint on it. Uh, safe cities, we don't want to have those issues that are having happening in other big cities. And we're the second largest city, but we've been able to keep it safe for our citizens. I think that's real, real important. And the third thing is I want to rebuild the schools. You know, most of our schools, and I taught here for a long time at Cranston East, uh, we need to continue to uh, support the bond referendum, uh, making sure that we have good schools so that people can continue to come into Cranston uh, and the educational system can attract them. Uh, and with that, businesses will follow if we have good schools. We've seen that in places like North Kingston and. Smithfield and East Greenwich. Uh, Cranston has always been known to have great schools, but we need some, some tender care in some of our buildings, and I really support that bond referendum. Let me ask you, we're six days away. What's your message to voters right now? Some of them are already here. Yeah, many of them have voted already, uh, and I've been here every day from 8.30 to 4.30, standing outside City Hall. Uh, I think they've got a clear choice between the two candidates, uh, and I just hope that they would listen to my message of fiscal stability and continuing what Alan Fung has been doing. Uh, I, th I think he's been a great mayor, and uh, I've worked with him on the budget. I understand what the budget's all about. Uh, having been an administrator in the schools, I know what the school budget is, and that's 55% of the total budget in Cranston. So, I've got the experience that I think people are looking for.